said I got to say something, baby, hand me the mic. I said I got to say something, better hand me the mic. Uh, somebody, somebody hand me the mic. Cause I got to say something, so just hand me the mic. I'm gonna really need to say something, better hand me the mic. I said I got to say something, baby, hand me the mic. We are rolling, Daniel. We are rolling, we're Daniel. Rolling. So, um, we're here. It's another episode, fun-filled episode Ooh, of elephant. people like us. Today we're joined by Johnny again. Hi. The original. The uh, the boys are back in town. The um, Before we start, we've got a few things we're going to play today. We've got some games. But before we do, I just want to pick Southpaw's brain. Haven't you just been away somewhere, Southpaw? I have indeed. Where did you go, South Park? I didn't realise this was happening. Yeah. Uh, Centre Parks. <laughs> yes. Tell me about it. What happened? Anything interesting? Lo- Who did you go with? Lovely little time. Went with 15 other friends. So my missus, tons of other couples, my sister, some of her mates. Um, yeah, it was a fantastic little break. Centre Parks in Winfell, uh, in Penrith. Lovely to, lovely little place. There is a certain slide called the Big Red Slide. For our international viewers um, who maybe aren't familiar with South pa- um, Centre, Centre Park. Parks. South mm-hmm. Parks. <laughs> <laughs> familiar with Centre Parks. What is Centre Parks? Centre Parks is sort of a... Um, it's a big forest. It's like a big forest where there's tons of different activities that you can do. In the centre of this forest, there is a beautiful, massive water park. Uh, tons of different little pools. It's not the most... American amazing water park you'll see in the world, but you can drink around the pool. Um, there's there's bars, there's nice food uh, inside. There's tons of different activities, and yeah, Set Park's phenomenal place. Been there many years over the years, and uh, great time this time with the missus. Never thought I'd take missus there. So it was good, yeah. So Center Parks has been a, a staple of your life, has it? You've been Every a lot. November, I think, up until the age of just before my GCSEs, I'd been my first yeah. swim. I think was in the Center Parks pool. Was it really? So, yeah, like it was religious for us and we, uh, yeah, loved it. You ever done Centre Parks? Ah, I've, uh, you know, he's been a Tenerife, I've been to a Leavenworth on that front. (laughs) So, like, I um, I used to go every year, like, from, like, very young up until, like, maybe it's, like, just before COVID. Right. And, yeah, it was, like, a group of 60 of us. Like 60. 60. 6-0. 6-0. I don't think I know no 6-0 people. I thought I was book, the like, big uh, man here. Book, like a uh, cul-de-sac of like lodges um. and we'd all stay in them. Just a massive piss up. It was great. Like it used to be like a thing where like, because it was like I grew up with my mates and we all went, all of the families went together. Mm. So it used to be like, you know, we'd go and do the pool and we'd go and do the activities. And then once we hit like 17, 18, that's when the alcohol started to come in a lot stronger. What's the mate connection? Is it like your up. dad and his mates with their family? Yeah, kind of. The the like like some of them we just kind of knew from like either school or like they like my best mate lives lived a couple of doors from us. Um and we just kinda knew them from them and then huh. you know, everybody knew we like the main guy who organized it was like, Oh, we're doing this thing and then we keep inviting different people. So it started off with like a core group of maybe like twenty of us and right. then it would grow to like and just got bigger and bigger. Never. And then uh, yeah. 60 people. Yeah, it was a, it was a big, uh, that, that's <laughs> it probably, was a big thing. That could be some kind of centre parks record. I bet not many, I bet there hasn't been many parties the, the, of 60. To be fair, like, it, the, there was like, there's quite a good culture for like group bookings there, isn't there? Like, the, pe- there is, but like I, d- I don't think it expands that, that, six, because number, yeah, you, get eight in, you get eight in a lodge. So within a, a cul-de-sac of these lodges in the forest, it's amazing. Um, there's about six six lodges, maybe seven or eight actually. Yeah. Um, and we had two of the eight. So we got a noise complaint one of the nights for being too rowdy and yeah. stuff. But I don't think, yeah, I mean, maximum 24 people, mm-hmm. I thought, were booking in the Centre Park trip. But 60 people, Johnny. Yeah, Can you imagine being the, the salesperson that picked the phone up that day? <laughs> yeah. A party of 60, you know, <laughs> yeah. imagine the commission on 60. Yeah, yeah man. That's well, target it, done for the month. <laughs> even like for 16 people, me and my sister booked it, and it was mainly my sister, I'm not going to lie. I just sort of paid. But, she, you know, booking for 16 people was a nightmare. Like trying to get that sorted. So I don't even know how you're going to start trying to get 60 people sorted. Yeah, he's a pretty organised fella. Do you know what I... Uh, Clock the other day, just a purely side question. What you know when we do our episodes, mm. it says like Johnny J Bell. What's mm. a J? Joseph. 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 Okay, good Christian name. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, not, not not really a fan of it, but I do. I don't know. Johnny Johnny Bell has always just sits with us wrong. It it feels doesn't feel like I don't know. It feels too like childish. Yeah, or like early doors into like, like a. 
a Rugrats character would get called. You think? <laughs> yeah. I think it's a really smooth name. Johnny, Johnny Bell. Bell. Well, I just like Johnny J. Bell. I just thought it, sound, it sounds like some sort of Robert, yeah, it sounds like Robert Downey Jr. Sounds like you're somebody. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah. Johnny yeah. J. Bell. So Johnny I just J. thought, yeah, he's, he's famous. It's Johnny J. Bell. <laughs> you got a middle name, Southpaw? I do. What is it? It's it's Louis John Courts. Sorry? John. John? John. Huh. Like Louis my, John like Southpaw Courts. Like my father. Is he called John? Yeah. Big John. Go Love on, that. Dan. Oh, you've got... I feel like we touched on this before, haven't mm. we? You've my got... middle name is my dad's shortened down name. Mm-hmm. My dad's called Anthony, but he gets called Tony. I mean, funny enough, just the other day, I was transferring some money oh. to my dad, and I, I always forget he's called Anthony. I just know him as Tony. Do you know Tony. what I mean? Every like, I've never heard anybody ever call him Anthony. And when I go to pay him, like, I always look at the payee, and it's like, huh, you're called Anthony. <laughs> Like, he <laughs> proper didn't, he just, he's not an Anthony to yeah. me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, Tony. So I've got Tony as my middle name. Oh. I've been thinking. I had it in my head. I, I think I'm misremembering it. I, I, think th- it I, th- I thought you had like a, a, a like a, a Eugene or something like that. Like a no, weird one. No. Tony's think quite suits, unusual. I think I've never it suits seen, you though. I think Dan Tony Brown. No one's, I've never heard Anthony. anybody have that middle name before. Yeah. No, I like it. I've, do you know what I've been thinking? You know, obviously one day we're obviously going to be superstars. Oh yeah. Obviously. Course, obviously. I've been way. thinking like, I might change, I might change to Tony Brown because I think it's got more of a ring do you know what I mean Dan Brown's been done the thing is with my name right da Vinci Code in that yeah, yeah. You type, uh, there's no way I'm going to beat any search result do you know what I mean like no matter how big I get I'm not going to overtake the Da Vinci Code do you know what I mean I guess so you got to reach for the stars you know I'm thinking when I'm a superstar yeah and I'm thinking Tony Brown's probably going to work better because there isn't any famous Tony Browns have you searched it nah imagine there was imagine he was like a murderer <laughs> any famous Tony Browns Got uh, a, a rugby rugby union player, but this was in 1975. You can outdo him. Yeah, he'd Easy. be alright. I've Easy. got. I've I got think a you're good in the Tony player, Brown Johnny world. Bell. Huh? There's a rugby player called Johnny Bell. Is there? Yeah. Is there? It's what quite... in modern day? Yeah. Huh. Is, a... is there a Johnny Bell? I don't think he's probably as big as Dan Brown is, but no, no. Is there any famous Louis Court? I think I'll know I've made it once I've, I've done him. If I Google image search and I see more of me than him, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, there's also made it. Same again yeah. for you. <laughs> same again for you, Johnny. Rugby player Johnny Johnny Bell, uh, and for Louis Courts, Louis Courts feels like more of a unique one than, than else. yeah, feels more unique. <sighs> Is a paedophile in Texas? Right. <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah. oh, you knew yeah. what that was going to come eventually. There we go. <laughs> I'm pleased it happened to you, South Park. Yeah, thanks, man. When sometimes, you were, when you were good. you've got you, the same name yeah. as a pedo, you know. Yeah, he's what, what it can is. You, do? you know, never mind. He's let the Louis mm. Court side down, hasn't he? <laughs> so it was a paedophile in Texas, was it? Yeah, well, I'm just pulling you. No, I'm only joking. Oh, <laughs> I was there you disappointed. There you go. I just saw this guy and he does look like one, so... Sorry. Looks a bit pedoey, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if hang on. Oh it, man, he's just about to pull up some random photo no, of somebody. It looks like a pedo. That's all I saw. <laughs> that <poor man. laughs> that's all I saw. That might be our one viewer, and he's just going to click on the podcast. And go, I'm sorry to do that, but sorry, I, I just I just saw me? that, and then my brain went that way. Anyway, doesn't matter. Real. Anyway, no famous Louis Courts. Is- Sorry, dude, you don't look like a nuns. You look like a warm family man. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, Family man. Yeah. If if you could be called anything, like any name, if you could pick your own name, I know what mine would be. Mine, it's this isn't like groundbreakingly funny, but I used to have a dog called Tyler. Tyler. And I've met a boy once called Tyler on a holiday I went on. So start off with the name Tyler. It's very American. Sounds very American. <laughs> yeah, it is. But you don't imagine a Tyler to be not cool. You imagine a Tyler's pretty cool. He's probably he, he might surf. Do you know what I mean? Uh, that's where I was, that's where my head was going. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. You can picture a Tyler. I was thinking like you know high school Woo! douchebag. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. One, definitely one of them yeah, guys. Yeah, 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 one of them. <laughs> but uh, so we had a dog once called Tyler, and I always loved the name. And then I went on holiday once years and years and years ago, and I met an believe it or not an American lad called Tyler. Right? <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah. I'm still friends <laughs> with him. Um, he was huge, massive guy. About six foot five, this huge American guy. He was, what a crazy story. He, he lived in like North Dakota. And what his job was, he was something to do with oil and other oil fields out there. Yeah. Some kind of consultant sort of thing. Serious P, serious yeah. money, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And he'd um, 
basically been in like a one-year adventure where by himself he just packed his bags and decided that if he doesn't like if he doesn't do it now he's never going to do it and he traveled the entire world and it just so happened we were on a lad's holiday to Greece we just went for a week and we I remember he was just stood at the bar on his own and yeah. yeah and he started talking to us and you know first we were like who's this weirdo like making friends with us and anyway once we started talking away and we found out his story he was showing us on his like first we thought you're full of shit but literally he had photographs on his phone he'd been from Norway to here to here to here to here just for a year checking the boxes That's but class. yeah and from then I just thought like yeah you want to be a Tyler like <laughs> you know a Tyler is did he just do that on his own on his own. Fucking hell, that's ballsy as hell. Isn't it? Yeah. It's brilliant. <laughs> he just went round the world. Just cut his ties. Yeah. Just decided, I've got enough money to do this. I'm going to fucking do it. Yeah. Makes you think how much money he must have. I know. But I still follow him now on uh, <laughs> socials. Friends with him on Facebook. To be fair, he lives, he basically lives the Joe Rogan life. Like one, you know, one day there's a picture of him and his mates and they've like killed a moose. Do you know what I mean? And the next day, they're at like a massive football game. Like, they just, he just lives the life. Do you know what I mean? Looks amazing. He's, and he seems like the type of guy that everybody likes. Do you know what I mean? He seems like the fun guy. But you can picture him. Oh, 100%. Big Tyler. I can see Tyler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I'd go with. I'd want to be Tyler. I'm very jealous of Tyler. I don't know if Tyler Brown works. I think he does work. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler Brown. Brown. Right, it's kind you of can, with, yeah. You can imagine that being a real person, you right? Make, just set that up. Tyler set, Brown. set that away. You could be Tyler Brown now. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Jenny? If you could be anybody. Oh, God, I don't know. Do you want to be like a fancy one, like Pierre? Pierre. <laughs> it goes down. Uh, the... Pierre. Yeah. Love baguettes. <laughs> yeah, Pierre. Wasn't it you wanting to own like a coffee shop? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, so P a, Pierre uh, works into that, right? Yeah, so so I had like I was, I was, I was yeah, in a taxi PM. once, right? And this taxi driver, I thought he was God. You like, thought he was God. I thought he was God. Yeah, because he's just like, oh, you know, if I were if I were me and Misha were in the taxi, he's like, if I were, were your you guys' age, I would have just just get away from Newcastle, right? Just move yourself to Nice, and just open up a cafe at the beach. Wow. And I was like, should we fucking do this? <laughs> Yeah. And then, like, whenever I'm like going through some shit and I'm like sick of my life or whatever, I'm just like, I should have fucking opened that calf. So Dude. if I change my name to Pierre, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Pierre owns a cafe in Nice, right? Of course he does. You, you get a coffee off Pierre. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He has that sourdough I'd fancy have that bread. little mustache, that thin pencil mustache. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Bicycle, basket, baguette. Yeah, maybe you that's. Know. that's yeah, the French, life. That, that seems awesome, doesn't it? Like the French lifestyle, you know? Yeah. I, did I hear right that, I know, boring fact for podcast, but I'm pretty sure if France is one of the worst countries for like tax and shit. So like if you're a foreigner mm. and you want to live in France, you know mm, what I mean? The expats get fucked. I think you have to pay 50% tax. I think if you're a foreigner. self Paul might find that out as we talk away. I guess it doesn't have to be nice. No. <laughs> what it you want, right? sound nice. <laughs> I've learned through, I haven't been all over in the world, but I've learned something. You don't, you, it sounds bad, but you need to go to countries where there's poverty. You need to be the rich guy in the country, <laughs> yeah. not the poor guy in the country. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've been to Paris and I felt like a low life. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because you're, yeah, I get, I get that. Everyone was balling and mm -hmm. I couldn't afford now. Do you know what I mean? Walking past the Chanel store and the Gucci store, like, nope, not for me, you know, holding on to my Starbucks. I mean, that's what keeps us up in the Northeast. I can be competitive here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go down to London, I'm scrimping. <laughs> but when you go to a shithole, like, as, as magical as it was, like Cuba, where everybody is extremely poor, it's fantastic. It, so it sounds awful, but you're basically, you're a king, you know? Yeah. You know, you whip a hundred quid out and... Like, wow <laughs> yeah you've, you've, you've paid for everything yeah yeah you need to go to poor countries in my opinion sorry but it's it's just what i've realized works best for me yeah you know i get the theory makes sense you're gonna be a big and fish to be, in a to be fair pond. when the taxi driver told us about nice i wasn't really thinking ah tax <laughs> i was just thinking wake up in the morning look out at the sea just make yourself a coffee it does seem like the life just be, like just be just be nice. Like, like I wouldn't even care that much to be rich or anything like that. I just casually just, just, just doing enough to get by. And what mm. more do you need than just a chilled out life at the beach? Do you know that, that there's a lot of truth in that actually, you know, we, we do spend our time chasing the, chasing the dollar. Mm. We all do. We're all in this pursuit. 
And I think life passes us by sometimes. Yeah. You know, Isn't you sort of have a look and think, what the fuck have I been doing for the past 10 years? You know, just on the same hamster wheel. Like, yeah. still, not, still not got it, <laughs> you know? And you, you see these lifestyles, like, I mean, my personal one would be the Greek lifestyle. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, to live on a Greek island, um, you basically only work six months of the year when the tourist season's on. Yeah. Like you say, have a little restaurant, you know what I mean, or a bakery or something, and just make enough money in that six months, have a number, you need to get hold of, what, 30 grand or whatever in Do that six months. Year. Yeah, and that's it, and then just live six months quietly. I think you you can get in that much peace where money doesn't matter anymore. Like, you don't need a fancy car, you don't need anything, you're just happy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to get that. That'd be pretty awesome. Mm. What's your... What's your version of that what 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 lifestyle would you want to live in south Pole? where money wouldn't um, be a part or is it all just i mean, I mean to be to be honest i'm not a million miles away from johnny i i you know i grew up in the hospitality trade right. so if i owned my own sort of restaurant and i i always sort of just like similar to you of not coffees but just doing one product very well so say if it was just like i don't know bacon sandwich. Lo- like lobster sandwiches or something on the beach and all you do is lobster sandwiches and fries. Mm. And then that way, you're just creating people's happiness all day. They're trying your lobster. Amazing. You're making decent cheddar off that as well. Mm-hmm. So alongside all that, yeah, I'd, I'd still want to make money. still want to make decent money so I could go and travel on, like, on like the off-season, mm. stuff like that. Um, That's true. Come back for the season, smash it out, work your ass off for, I don't know, three or four months, make your good money. Leave your little stall there, go and travel or whatever. You might leave, I don't know, you might leave the stall for the locals and you rent it out, but that would be my ideal, similar to you, Johnny, just on a beach, you know, go and travel, make enough to get by. Um, it's just a stress-free life. I mean, I think that's what a lot of people would go for, wouldn't they? Just You know who really have, like, got the cheat code for life? Lucky, lucky men. Do you Not know what I mean? the one who sell the cheap sunglasses yeah, and shit down Yeah, one to walk up. No, Del Boy, yeah. that guy. Do you think... Oh, yeah. yeah boy. He spends his life on a tropical beach. He walks up and down all day on a tropical beach looking at half-naked women. Yeah, no, nah, but like... Who's he, really laughing? Uh, no, but he's not having a good time either, is he, though? Like, just get... He, just people tell him no all day. He seems happy to me, you know? <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> well, say that, to me... That's part of the no, role, no, isn't he's it? Not, you yeah. know, he's not all, like, subdued. Yeah, he's, he's not, not like, oh, like, no, oh, Del Boy. He's all like, hey, Del Boy! Do you want this cheap Prada bag? Yeah, I don't know. Cracking tan. But aren't they all working for some big boy? I don't isn't know. that isn't that the way it works? So I don't know. They're all working for like this big man who's selling like you know they have to pay a certain amount to. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I just uh, and then I, lot- I feel I feel like you know they might look all happy and cheery when they're on the beach, but I feel like they they go somewhere to get the bags and stuff. Yeah, and that ain't a happy place. <laughs> no. And as far as I know, I don't think the bags are their main point of income. Like I, I'm not Can't just. Be I'm, <laughs> I'm not stereotypical, like being stereotypical, but I, I swear a lot of them do sell drugs and stuff as well. And I tell you what, in my whole life, I've never seen anybody buy something off the lucky, lucky man. Never. <laughs> no. No. I, I have. Have you? Once. It was you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was me. It was me. It was. This, <laughs> what did it, you buy? It was, this, it was this little Hugo <laughs> Boss, right? It was this Hugo Boss satchel, and I know how to deal with the lucky, lucky man. Of course you do. So it was this little Hugo Boss satchel. And the guy was like, 30 euro just for you. And it looked nice. Like, it looked bang on. Like, I was like, okay. I was quite, I was about 15. And genuine, I, yeah? Yeah, genuine, genuine. mate. Honestly, Re- it, fill, it fooled me. So I think, oh, I'll fill my mates with this. And he was like, 30 euro. And I was just like, no, no, 15, 15. No, no, not 15. And I was like, oh, no, absolutely fine. And I just started to walk away, walk away. Then before you know it, it's okay, I could do 15 euro. Switch starts with, Del Boy, Del Boy. <laughs> 15 euro, yeah, 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 Cosmet sound. 15 euro, there you go. Hugo Boss Bag Secured, still got it. Powerful. Many, many uh, raves, many parties that's been to. Brilliant. At the Tenerife Strip on Lock Off, didn't you? <laughs> I think it was Lanzarote, but you weren't far off, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sounds <laughs> yeah, like yeah. a Lanzarote thing. There you go. Yeah. That yeah. was that was my only purchase, I think. I think my dad's bought them some like sunglasses that look like your your eyes are open. Oh yeah. He's, been, yeah. he's, bought, them, he's bought them before. Yes. The, the, yeah. There's a real picture that you're painting with your dad. Yeah. He's a legend. <laughs> yeah. legend. I've seen my dad wear them many a time on a holiday, but <laughs> Yeah. Legend. I, that's the legend it. continues. Yeah. yeah. Probably. You did that thing, did you tell it on here? About when you were outside Primark that time were you in Manchester? I don't know whether I told that on here. I was in I got absolutely rinsed in Birmingham recently. 
Really? Yeah, because this I'd never known of this, but Zoe, my missus, had cottoned on before, but she like tried to tell me and I wasn't having any of it. But basically, we came out of um, shopping in Primark. She was grabbing some bits and mint day so far. Birmingham's a lovely city. Walked in like the... <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> no, no, it's really nice. Like, I was amazed. Literally coming out of the train station, I was like, this is like an airport. It's beautiful. Anyway... Having a little gander, had a coffee. I Tourists. think I, I think I might have even had a bev at this point. So I was like, raring. We're gonna go and get some lovely food. So I was like, all is going swell here. Yeah? And then this guy comes up to me with like a bag full of like all these different aftershaves. And he's like, mate, 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 come here quick. Yeah. I was like, all right, yeah, yeah. And I'm I'll, I'm one I'm one for a bargain, Daniel. You know this. Sure. And he was like, there was million in there. There was Sauvage. There was all these different. There was like. Um, just really good branded aftershaves. And I, he was like, mate, just for you, just for you, 40 quid. I've stole all these from Selfridges. And Selfridges was right there. No way. And I was like, what the fuck? You stole all everything. Yeah, mate, I've been doing it 30 years. I was like, <laughs> mad. I was like, yeah, yeah, go on then. Like, I, I'm not paying 40 though. I said, I'll pay 20 now. He was like, oh, go on then. Go on, 20. So I went and got 20 quid out. And Zoe was came at the cash point. She said, Louis, don't buy it. Don't buy it. I was like, Hey, this is an absolute bargain, this. I'm going to go and get one of these. Like, Savage, you're going to pay 90 quid for that normally. You know what I think the business model here is? Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> I don't think he really stole that from Selfridges. I think that was knockoff gear that was cost pennies to make, bottled up right, and he stood outside Selfridges, blagging divvies, like you come and pass. Well, bear with. <laughs> <laughs> so then, like, I, I, I wanted to check him again. I was like, man, how can I know this is legit? He scans the barcode of this Savage, of this Savage, because I wanted the Savage, I love Savage, too tight to ever buy it for myself, it has to be a gift. Anyway, <laughs> like, he scans this barcode on the bottom of the Savage thing, I was like, and it went through to the Selfridges website, he was like, look mate, I just stole it. I was like, no way, like you've got it linked up, it all works. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, there's 20 quid, gives us Savage. I was trotting off to this restaurant with Zoe, like, Honestly, top of the world. I was like, I can't believe it. I've got Savage, min, 20 quid. Can't believe it. Got to the restaurant. I was like, I can't hold myself anymore, so I'm going to have to open it. Opened up this Savage. I was like, that packaging's a bit stiff. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Opened it up further. I was like, that bottle looks a bit different than the one my dad's got. <laughs> I was like, all right. Uh, and I sprayed drops. it on myself and I went, oh, that smells like shit. Business model is, no he's way. been pissing in these aftershave bottles. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Literally and scraping honestly, cat litter boxes. She, and, and, then, and then she started passing me out. She was like, your neck's gone all red. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I was like you're joking. And my neck did go red off it. So I bet I had to bid it and I was like, I, was, I mean, it's only 20 quid. Fortunate I didn't pay 40. I had to pay for 40 but yeah he had me he had my pants down and he was a big lad so i wanted to go back and tell him off but so he was like you'll get absolutely done in i was like yeah i probably yeah. should leave that one yeah. he got off lucky that time didn't he he did yeah, yeah. I, thought, yeah. I thought i thought i'd let him off um yeah. but yeah don't buy um he what saved, you believe to be real aftershave there, that has been stolen from a dodgy guy outside primark just don't do it i mean when you say it like that it sounds like a given you wouldn't do it but i did I can remember being a kid, not a kid, a young person. You don't see this anymore. Um, it used to be like a thing and like you saw it quite often. Like every few weeks something like this would happen. There would be, you'd be walking like near the town centre, right? It's always happened near the town centre. And there'd be a car, right? It'd always be a fairly nice car, like a BMW or a Mercedes. And there'd be like a black guy in it, like a big black guy. And he would be well-dressed, like shirt, tie, trousers, smelt nice, car was clean, looked good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Had jewelry on and he'd, he'd shout you over, hey, hey, uh -uh, and, you, and you'd go over and on his lap, he had real jewelry, like actual jewelry, like gold and gold chains and gold rings I've and shit like this. I've never seen this. Yeah, this was like common. And he used to see, da, 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 and I, like, you always walk, you knew not to buy it, you know? Mm -hmm. You used to say, no, thank you, or, or yeah, just say, no, thank you. Yeah, call you over the yeah, car, yeah. like, nah, no, no, no. But, nah. like, I bet, like, they're not, like, that, that looks like real hard and criminal shit, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? If, if you're sat in a BMW with a suit on, flogging jewellery, real legitimate gold jewellery yeah. to people on the, on the DL, on the down low, on the hush hush, like, where's he got that jewellery from? Do you know what I mean? Is that how, like literally are they people who turn over jewelry shops? Is that how it happens? I mean, 
Hey, if it works, he's got himself a beamer out of it, hasn't he? You know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I always remember that like, gold tooth and that, you know, proper bullet tooth Tony <laughs> type guy. Never seen that. Yeah, before your time. You don't see it no more, but it used to be when I was like a young lad, like man. That would be the game. Yeah, you saw this a lot. It, it used to be common, and then it would get less and less. You know, I've seen that probably dozens of times in my life. Really? Always similar type people, you know, mm. similar type. Not pigeonholing people, but they were always of African descent. Do you know what I mean? Always. And they always had well dressed, always smelt nice, always nice car, not always selling jewelry. I often think, what's the story with that? You know. Mm. Well, this fellow who got me was like, he spoke very fast. I think he may have been of gypsy heritage. I don't know, but mm. yeah, it's very trustworthy. They talk well. They say the right things. Before you know it, you've got twenty quid out. The Irish charm. Yeah. Before you oh, know it, know. you've got 20 quid out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And on the on the way past, like, when I was giving him this 20 quid, like, he was, like, at these girls, just look, this guy's just done it. And then they fell into the trap because I'd bought. Love and this. I looked like a normal person. Love so this. it's like, he'd, he'd literally, and then the way, he even was like, there's cameras everywhere, mate. Keep that in your, keep that in your bag. I was like, oh, I, was like, I will, mate. I was like, I will, don't you worry, mate. You're walking away like... <laughs> I was walking away like <laughs> Selfridges are after me. <laughs> Birmingham is most wanted. Yeah. Oh, mate, I thought I'd done Selfridges all over. Yeah, well, keep away from them. Um, <laughs> right, we're gonna. What we're gonna do? We're gonna have a quick break for a minute, mm -hmm. and then when we come back, we're gonna get onto game time. Game time. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, we'll be, be fun. right back. Okay, so we're back. Yeah? We're back. We're back. So, um, we're going to play Family Feud. Ooh. So, yeah, this was my idea to play this, just purely as a fan. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody I likes love watching. a bit of Family Feud. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. But I have realised I don't really understand all the rules. I have realised that. Mm. Um, so, you're going to keep me right, because you do. I'll look after you. Yeah? Look yeah. After you. I won't so, rent you quick, here. quick rundown on the rules. Okay. I'm going to ask Dan and Johnny... A question. Now, the first person to buzz into that question uh, then gets a shot at answering the five answers. So we need a buzzer. for each question, there's five answers. Now, this is based upon 100 people have answered this particular question in the crowd. There's no crowd here today, but a crowd did answer it somewhere. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, I think we just go straight into it. And the person who goes first tries to get all five. And if they don't get all five or if they get a certain amount, they need to basically get three and they can win the round. Um, but yeah, uh, there we go. Okay. Cool. Okay, so, so first uh, question, family feud, people like us. Here we go. Name cool. some... Uh, oh, no, sorry. Can we... Can oh, we do the buzzer. Yeah, can yeah. we both find a buzzer? Would you, Dan, what's your buzzer going to be? I have to make a noise. Just, yeah, just a noise. Ah... <laughs> Okay, that's a nice buzzer. Johnny. Oh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> nah. That'll do. So one more time, everybody. We got, ah. Okay. Nah. Okay, fantastic. Bye. Right, first question. Mouths on buzzers. Um, name something you might accidentally leave on all night. Nah. Headphones. Incorrect. Goes over to Daniel. Pajamas. Incorrect. <laughs> Can I go again? Can Name I... something you might accidentally leave on all night. TV. Correct. All right. You go again. You keep going to see how many you can get. Um, I go. I go again. Yeah, go yeah, again. yeah. If you get a correct answer, you get a shot. Keep going. All how right. many is there? There is five answers for each question. And that's now, one of them. Yeah, just to let you know, Johnny, that is the most popular question as well. Uh, popular answer, sorry. Nailed it. So 32 people out of 100 <laughs> said the TV. Okay. All right, we're going to go heating. Incorrect. It goes over to Daniel. You've got a chance here. Socks. Incorrect. Really? Name something you might Socks? accidentally leave on all does, night. Does that come back across to me then? Yeah, it comes back across to you. Let's name I something know. you might. I know, I know, I know. Okay, but it's Johnny now. Um, Tricky, this one. Yeah, that is, that's actually light. Correct. That's what I was going to say. Second go. most popular answer. Really? Well, you just think like, you know, I'm not going to fall asleep with the light on. 
No. Who does that? Wouldn't be an accident, would it? It'd no. be a choice. <laughs> think, of, think, of, the dark. think about being drunk. <laughs> think about what you're going to leave on when you're drunk. Uh, <laughs> Stove. <laughs> can I the get oven. a more? Can I get... Sorry? Oven. Okay, oh. so Johnny has now won that round. He's answered the most oh. three most popular answers with t- house fires there. the TV, <laughs> lights, oven, and the other two were computer and taps. Ah. Okay, so right. round one goes to Johnny. Okay, coming I was really in. stuck with that. I couldn't think of them. Yeah. But now you've said them, it makes sense. Yeah, coming in so. to question number two, Family Feud. Name a famous bridge in the UK. Ah, the Seven Bridge. Incorrect. Oh my God. Time Bridge. No. Incorrect. What? Tower Bridge. Oh, yeah. Love Dan that. comes in with the most popular answer there. 45 right. people out of 100 said Tower the, the Bridge. The time didn't even make the cut. Didn't even make the cut, mate. Okay. All you need is three out of five, Dan. Got one. Yeah, I'm trying to think. What's that bridge in Hull called? Oh, man. I know it's, is it, it, well, I'm going to say Hull Bridge, but I don't know what bridge it is. Incorrect. Okay. Um, Millennium Bridge. The lowest answer with eight people out of 100 saying it, Millennium Bridge. There you go. Well one, played. one all. See how it stays with you, Johnny. Oh, so I've got to name another bridge. Yeah. Um, I don't know any more bridges. This I might be tough. Unless bridges. Unless you don't know. This it, might be tough. U- UK Bridges. UK bridges. Um, Name a famous bridge in the UK. Is the, 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 the one in the Tyne, the, the one in Hull, the one in London, I, and that's it. Apart from that, there's a bunch of bridges in London. Though, and I feel like I, like is one it? of the other bridges is probably on there, but I just don't know what. Like there's that that weird one, the one that people just walk over, and it's got like the. It, to be fair, man, I, I like, don't know. The, I don't um, know where these bridges are based. The, um, <laughs> Hey, I, I, I think I know. Is one. it just a bridge called the the, the Thames Bridge? <laughs> Incorrect. Goes over to Daniel. <laughs> is the London Eye a bridge? No, the London Eye is a Ferris wheel. Oh shit! Goes over. Are Johnny. you sure? How, how many times does this go back and forth? It's, we it's one one so far. So I'll take the next correct answer to win the round. All right. This is, I literally don't know. It. UK bridges. UK bridges they have to be UK. What's that bridge though? That, that goes bridge. from Wales to Bristol. That bridge, I'm sure it was the Seven. That's the River Seven. So it's that bridge, but I don't know what it's called. The fucking... Newport to Bristol Bridge. That the, one. The 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 Four Bridge? <laughs> Can I get a bit more? No, he's just held up that because he's trying to help us, but I don't have a fucking clue <laughs> what he's saying. Right. <laughs> the Fourth Bridge. I'm going to give that bridge. round to Johnny. There well we played, go. Johnny. So the, uh, that was a bit of a tough one, but name a famous bridge in the UK. The five most popular quen- qu- uh, answers were Tower Bridge, the fourth bridge coming in second with 22 people saying it, the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Never heard of it. Uh, 15 people said that, and the Humber Bridge. Humber Bridge, Humber that's Humber bridge. the whole bridge. 10 people said that. So, so out of I the first right two, Johnny has won two. Going into question number three, name a popular British dish that originated in another country. Nah. Chicken tikka masala. The most popular answer coming in correct with Johnny. Second answer, John. Um, blah, blah, blah. You go like spaghetti bolognese? Spaghetti bolognese. He's got two. Oh, shit. One more. Um, Dan, he's walking away with it here, Dan. He's walking away. Doing me. Just read the question again. I need to... Name a popular British dish that originated in another country. Oh shit! If I went like, like if I say like hamburgers, because it's like they're from like America, aren't they? Incorrect. Goes over oh. to Daniel. You've got you literally. He's got two, so you need to get three. Uh, name Pizza. a popular. Correct. Fuck yeah, of course. Right. Okay. Name a popular British dish that originated in another country. Now this could be generic. This could be anything. Paella. Incorrect. Fuck. Back across to me. Yeah, I'm um, gonna give Dan one more shot. If not, it rolls over at your point, Johnny. Yeah, got you. Um, fucking, that's difficult. Actually, I'm kind I know of what I'm going with. That. I know what I'm going with. Oh, my mind's blanking on this. If I go like, you can find a blank. Go like, mm, I was gonna say fucking stir fries. I don't know. Incorrect. That's Apple a, pie. 
Incorrect. Fuck. So that round also goes to Johnny. Johnny has run three out of three here, naming chicken tikka masala and spaghetti bolognese. What were the ha- other ones so far? Name a, pot- um, a popular British dish that originated in another country. The five answers were chicken tikka masala with 42 people saying that. The next one was pizza, 21 people saying that. Spaghetti bolognese, 18 people saying that. Curry, 12 people That's said that. That's chicken tikka masala though, isn't it? Well, you need to be a bit more specific. And finally... That's less specific of anything. Less specific, yes. Uh, finally, kebab. Seven people said kebab. kebab. Of course, kebab's a good okay, one. Okay, yeah, moving in to question that. number four. <sighs> I think easy, you'll be Jenny. all right. I think you might get some of these. I think this is going to be a uh, a no, eh, straight away. Um, name a type of tree commonly found in the UK. What? Uh, <laughs> what was that? Uh, there there we, we go. go. That's better. An oak tree. <laughs> Correct. Thirty-five people. Highest answer. You're What's really... a conquer tree? It's remember. It's just a type. It could be a type of wood. You know. Think about that. You, you really overestimated our intelligence a by saying tree. that we were going to get that. <laughs> Sorry, a fern tree. Incorrect. Um, and, um, I think you'll be annoyed once you hear the answers. What, what did you? What was the first one that you said? Can't remember. Because you boys know these trees. I know you do. What, what was the one he said? He said oak. Name a type of tree commonly found. In the UK. I know just, some. Just like I know a, some. I know uh, some. Exactly. Just like a fucking evergreen. Incorrect. This could be Dan's round. A willow tree. Willow. Correct. <laughs> yeah. And a um, sycamore tree. Correct. Sycamore. Bang. Yeah, well, I'm going to give that Done to Dan. Three. Gonna, yeah, three. Yeah. You've got three. So uh, coming in at top was oak tree with 35. Coming in second was beech tree. At 20. Beach. I nearly th- said that, but I was like, beech wood, not beech yeah, tree. Well, beech wood, you've got to think beech wood is a beech tree. Uh, coming in third is <laughs> ash. 18 people said ash. I don't know coming in fourth was sycamore. 15 people said that. And coming in fifth was willow tree. 12 people said that. Okay. Okay, okay. Th- this is a little bit more difficult, I think, this one. Um, na- so, sorry, just uh, check in. That's one to Daniel and three to Johnny. He's back in it. Um, name a famous uh, name a famous British scientist. Ah, uh, Edison. Incorrect. Isn't that who invented the telephone? Name a famous British scientist. Is that me now? Yeah, Stephen Hawking. Correct. But you can't name Top no more, answer though. that was <laughs> fucked. <laughs> fucked. Um, Darwin. Correct. Wow. And blah, 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 blah. what's the name? Brian Cox. Incorrect. Ah. I'm going to help Daniel here think apples. <laughs> Steve Jobs wasn't English. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> think apples. Johnny's got it. Newton. There oh, you there go. There you go. So it's 2 1 so far. Um, think Enigma. <laughs> Oh, and, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I don't know his name though. I'm out. Listen, I'm, I'm out. forfeiting this point because I, I ain't getting shit. I think it's imitation game that yeah, 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 the, the Benedict Cumberbatch played in the film. It's, it's a good film. Um, <clears throat> is it? Oh, it's so funny when the questions are in front of you. It's is like, it some, what, something Cummings? Unfortunately not. However, Johnny, mm. I'm still going to give you that round. That's four to you, one to Daniel. Now, name, name a that, famous British hang scientist. Hang on, what was that guy's name? Alan Turing. 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 So coming at the top was Stephen Hawking, 38 people said him. Second was Isaac Newton, 28 people said him. Third was Charles Darwin, 18 people said him. Number four was Alan Turing, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch played him in Imitation Game. And coming in fifth, I don't know who this guy is, Michael Faraday. Oh, oh Mike Faraday, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. No idea. 4-1, Daniel, you're going to have Good to bring Faraday. it up here. Okay, I think this is pretty simple, this one. I really thought I was going to win this game. Name something you associate with the city of Manchester. I didn't hear the question. Name something you associate with the city of Manchester. Ah, Football. Correct. Oasis. Incorrect. Music. You've said your answer. What? It will be music, won't it? Music? 
Incorrect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently not. Down that line, but need some more clarity. Listen, after after football in Oasis, there's nothing left for Manchester. That's all there is. No, think think Manchester. Think what I'm happens thinking. there. No. Is there anything more specific than football in there? Uh, yeah. Okay. I have no idea. You've got to think be. about elements. You've got to think about all these different things. You've got, you know. Is it him? It's not just about, yeah, it's Dan. It's not just about. I've got it. Has to be. Well, I'm going to try it. Y'all go, though. You no, it's, Dan, it's Dan's too. go, yeah, yeah. Fashion. Incorrect. I'm completely out. Let's go like Alex Ferguson. Incorrect. Yeah. Manchester. Liam Gallagher. Incorrect. Old Trafford. Incorrect. Right, I'm done. I'm giving. I don't know anything. Fucking... Giving in? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that, that indirectly goes to Daniel just finding football wow. associated with the city of Manchester. Um, so <laughs> at top was uh, football, 42 people said that. Coming in second was rain, 20 people said that. Rain? That's Co- the whole of the UK though? No, but Manchester is... I, I've lived there. It rains a lot. Coming in third was the Smiths. 15 people said that. Coming in fourth was the Hacienda. 12 people said that. Coming in fifth was Industry. So those last three, how on earth did they beat Oasis? So you, it's just... Name, coming in, uh, question number seven. Currently the scores are 4-2 to Johnny. Uh, question number seven. Name a British actor who has played James Bond. Ah. Roger Moore. Correct. You'll know all these, John Moore. Pierce Brosnan. Correct. Daniel Craig. Craig. Uh, correct. <laughs> Craig. Sean, Sean Connery. Correct. Last one. And um, um, who was that? I said, I said Roger Moore. Pierce you said Brosnan, Roger Moore, Daniel Pierce Craig, Brosnan, Sean Connery. Sean Connery, and Daniel Craig. And um, it's another bitch, I'm blanking. This is the last one, and this is the toughest one, I'd imagine. Um, George. Is he called George? No. Incorrect. Uh, uh, Johnny, you've still got that round. It's 5-2. Uh, name a British actor who played James Bond. Coming in top was 55 people said Daniel Craig. 30 people said Sean Connery. Eight people said Roger Moore. Uh, four people, uh, five people, sorry, said Pierce Brosnan. And two people said Timothy Dalton. Ah, no. Timmy Dalton. You know, I was, you know, I was trying to run through my brain. You remember that Scouting for Girls song, uh, I Wish I Was James Bond? <laughs> At the very end of the song, he l- l- rhymes off all the names. Oh, really? And I was like, take my, take my way through that, and I was trying to think what that fucking last name was. I didn't know that. Uh, so coming in at question number eight, the scores on the doors are 5-2 to Johnny. Walking away with it, Daniel's looking rather inferior here. Uh, name a UK city beginning with the letter oh. I just have to go for it. What? Be- beginning with the letter B. You can't... Bristol. You yeah, interrupt correct. it midway. You can't finish the question. Yeah, I'm going to ask it again. <laughs> <laughs> Name a UK city beginning with the letter B. Ah. Yeah. Bristol. Correct. Birmingham. Correct. Bradford. Correct. I've won. You've won. You don't want to try and play to, to get them um, on? I could do. Uh, Bolton. Incorrect. So you got three. Birmingham being top with 42. Belfast, 30 people said that. Bristol, 15 people said that. Brighton, 8 people said that. And 5 people said Bradford. Cool. <laughs> okay. Scores on the doors, 5-3. Dan's coming back. I have to win these next two rounds to even it. The best I can get to draw. Well, what do you want to play to, 20? Well, up to you. Let's see, yeah, see, see, see how we go once we get to 10. Okay. Uh, <laughs> name something you associate with the Scottish Highlands. Ah, uh, kilts. Bit more conviction, please, Daniel. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah. Kilts. Incorrect. How can that not be correct? How can that not be correct? Goats. Incorrect. Goats. There's no goats up there. Name something you associate goats up there. with the Scottish okay. Highlands. I've never been there. Hills slash mountains. More specific, please. Tall pieces of land. Incorrect. What was you have to Highland? <laughs> no. No, not. you weren't. <laughs> no. Fucking grass. One. <laughs> Incorrect. Fort I'm Williams. really like looking at them. I'm like, come on, boys. Fort Williams. Incorrect. Fucking, what's up there? Like Loch Ness, is that there? Yeah. More. 
The Loch Ness Monster. Correct. Um, oh, and I've got to answer more, haven't I? Shit. Name I've something you associate with the Scottish Highlands. Remember, that isn't just about the place. It's about what's associated with it. What goes on there? What happens there? What do people do there? I've got a few Fucking ideas. William Wallace. <laughs> what's made there? I've got a few ideas. Nah. Incorrect. Well, with incorrect. William Wallace. Okay. We're going to go Haggis. Correct. We're going to go uh, Highland Games. Incorrect. Right. One all. Okay. I'm I've going to take the one. next correct answer because you're just struggling. Um, Give me one more go after Johnny. I want one more go. <laughs> <laughs> Name something you associate with the Scottish Highlands. I don't associate anything with the Scottish Highlands. Just bad weather. Um, lock. Is there other locks? I'm going to say incorrect, Johnny. You, you, you're gambling there, mate. Okay, I've got, <laughs> I've got two things, right? But I've only got one guess, right? So I'm going to go tweed. Tweed. I don't think I can give you it. Whoa. Oh, it's, no, it's the other one, isn't it? Which one? Tartan. Correct. Ah. Two, one. Daniel, give us your second thing. Castles. Incorrect. Johnny wins a round. So I name something <laughs> associated with the Scottish Highlands. Uh, Loch Ness Monster came in first with 35 people saying that. Whiskey came in second with 25 people saying that. Tartan, 18 people said that. Ben Nevis, 12 people said that. And Haggis, 10 people said that. Okay. Hmm. Name a popular British band from the 90s. Nah. Blur. Correct. Oasis. Correct. Um, the, fuck. Um, the 90s. The 90s. Name a popular British band from the 90s. Fuck. Um, Your error, John. I know. Um, well, not really. I'm, You're quite old. I'm, I'm a bit later. Than I know, old. but I was six. <laughs> <laughs> um, fucking the... No, the Cure were before them, weren't they? They're not on there. Are you going with the queue? Yeah, if I could put it in. Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay. Spice Girls. Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking more like like band, like indie band, or <laughs> not like what pop was stars um, or whatever. Yes, a bit to the year three thousand. They weren't in the nineties. Busted. Yeah, I don't think they were in the nineties though. No, they weren't. I think they came later. Yeah, they did. S Club Seven. Incorrect. Fuck. <laughs> Um, I'm running out here like It's tough That's a tough one actually. Are you willing to sacrifice a point Daniel? No Not yet Not till a bitter end um, Were gorillas there? Or were they later? <laughs> Incorrect Ooh, I'd have went with that Okay 90s bands From England I feel like I'm missing some fucking obvious ones That I'm going to keep Yeah so what we've had We've had Oasis We've had the Spice Girls Yeah I don't The the question is Name a popular brand From Band the British band from the 90s And what And then ones we said aren't in there Apart from Oasis Blur And the Spice Girls Pope Oh that's a good shout Incorrect. What? Okay, so I'm going to read it out. Johnny, Johnny, you're going to take that point. It's 7-3. Name a popular British band from the 90s. Oasis was top with 40 people saying that. Blur was second with 22 people saying that. Radiohead was third Mm. with 18 people saying that. The Verve came in at fourth with 12 people saying that. And the Spice Spice Girls, eight people said that. Can't argue with them, really. No. No. Radiohead I might have a problem with, but the rest I can't really argue with. Are we going into question number 11? How long have we been rolling for? Uh, 53. Yeah. Go go to 15. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay. Name a British city known for its nightlife. Newcastle. Correct. London. Correct. Manchester. Correct. Liverpool. Correct. And fucking... Full House. Birmingham. Ooh, unlucky. Glasgow was the last yeah, one. Glasgow. So Newcastle, 50 people said that. 25 people said London. 12 people said Liverpool. 8 people said Manchester. And 5 people 
said Glasgow. It's clear so far that you are a family mm. feud champion. <laughs> you know, very, very Eight, good. Three going I don't into think so. question. I feel like a lot of these I've got through default, right? <laughs> yeah, going going into question number twelve, it's eight three. You really need to start like just earn all over the place, Daniel. I'll uh, try. Name a common British slang term for money. Ah. Oh, shit. Name think. a common British <laughs> slang term for money. Well, common. This could be more generic than you believe. Well, we say coin, don't we? Mm. Up here. Can I still buzz in at this point? Uh, if Daniel goes... I'm going to go with coin. Incorrect. Wonga. Incorrect. Nah. Um, money. I can't think of what a popular term is for money. It can't be cash. It could be that's any, a, any that's American. Cash is correct. It's American. Sure. It's an American word. Okay. I don't even count that as like a slang, though. It's just a. You got any cash? Another word. Readies. Incorrect. I think you just need to you just need to lower lower down your estimations like of. Dosh. Incorrect. Dollar. Incorrect. Change. Incorrect. Think of. Quiz. Correct. That's two. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, what do Londoners say? You got a few. Shillings. <laughs> no. <laughs> Coppers. No. <laughs> Real poor London people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, give me, give me, give, give us a clue. Come on. If I give you a clue, you're gonna get it. Yeah, well, be listen, more, I'm out. Be I... more specific with with types of and like variants of numbers. Pink and plenty. No. Notes. And no I'll variants like numbers. What would you say? Fiver. Yeah. Right. Tenor. Yeah. Well, I've won then. You've won. Oh, the last one. The, la <laughs> the last one was Bob. So name it. Bob. Bob. Yeah. Bob. So coming in, <laughs> coming in at top was forty-five people said quid. Twenty people said Bob. Fifteen people said fiver. Ten people said tenner, and eight people said cash. And I actually agree with cash. I don't think it's American. American. I, I always say, have you got any cash? You got any cash? I, I I just don't think of that as slang. It's more just right. like a Daniel. You're sort of in it. It's, <laughs> it's eight four currently going into question number thirteen. Name something people in the UK might do on a bank holiday. Name something people in the UK might do Man. on All a right. bank holiday. Go to the beach. Correct. Visit family. Correct. Oh no. Um go drinking. Pub. Sorry? Go drinking. Or like, well, go to the pub, I guess, correct, same thing. Correct, correct. Wow. Um, to shut out. It's an absolute shut out. Go to the fair? Incorrect. Ah. So Johnny wins that round by default. Um, 35 people said barbecue. 25 uh -huh. people said go to the beach. 18 people said visit family. 12 people said DIY. 10 people said go to the pub. Can't argue with any of them, really. Nah. Johnny is... Now, this is purely... Now, I mean, there's no winning involved. This is purely mm. just to get some pride back. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 9-4, uh, it's Dan. It's 9-4. Nine 9-4. Four. Nine four. Question <laughs> number 14. <laughs> this is one for you, Daniel. I'd be happy if it was like 9-6. That's a respectable score. Okay. You know, I just got beat then. I Not feel like, you know, if we ever get big and we get invited to go on Family Feud, as the people like us I'm family, taking you. I'm just glad to be Johnny's on the team, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, question number 14. Name a famous British poet. Ah. Rudyard yeah. Kipling. Incorrect. Um, I'm out. What's that guy, Homer? I don't know his first name. I need I need more. Fucking Philip Homer. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> I have literally, I'm going to bow out. I, I mean, I can't think of one. Literally, poet. the only reason that I know that Homer was a poet is because of a TikTok. Like, I don't was, know poets at does, all. Does Thoth. Does... Was Shakespeare one? Correct. He's not no, a poet. Okay. Hey, he's, he's not a player, he's a player, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can throw anybody out there then. Liam Gallagher again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Incorrect. <laughs> some people describe his music as poetry. Mm. Not me, but some people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I think I'm going to win with you, one. You're, you're looking at me like I'm going to pull a port out of my head, but okay. my head does have, right. has well, that, no ports. That round, John Lennon. <laughs> that round indirectly goes to Daniel. It's 9-5. Uh, coming in at top was 38 people said William Wordsworth. Uh, 30 people said William Shakespeare. 15 people said Lord Byron. 10 people said John Keats. And 7 people said Dylan Thomas. Wow. No idea. Good on them people because I wouldn't have named them. No, and the only one that we did get is not even a poet. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Okay, so I don't know whether I should switch 15 here because this is the last one, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this is the last one. <laughs> poet. I don't know anything about poets, man. No, no. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get, get we'll, we'll, we'll switch this one. This is actually question 19, but it can be question 15. So, name a famous British sports car manufacturer. Ah. Jaguar. Correct. Rolls Royce. Incorrect. Hang Aston on. Martin. Correct. Um. I need to be taking this round. British. British. Name a famous British sports car manufacturer. Oh, I feel like there's a really obvious one that I'm not going to... There is. Um, How can Rolls-Royce not be on there? <laughs> it's as British it, it as makes, it comes. It makes sense when you see the answers. Right. See, I want to say Mini Cooper, but it's not, is it? You said it, so it's incorrect. Ah, fuck. Yeah, well, Bentley's there. Yeah. And Morgan genuine. is there. No, it's not. Right. But Rolls Royce and Morgan, two of the best British cars ever made. I've got one. Sports car. Shit, I've got one. I've got one. I've got one. Shit, I've got Johnny. one. If you don't get it, I've won this. Oh, well, I need you to get made, one wrong. Made, no. I've got it 100%. As long Name as you get this wrong, I've got it. a famous British sports car Easy. manufacturer. Um, you won't think of it. It's too left field. Yeah. I'll give you a clue. It comes from Norfolk. All right. Skoda? Incorrect. No. no. Lotus. Correct. Ah. Okay, so Daniel got uh, Jaguar, Lotus and Bentley. Uh, Love the so these, coming uh. in top was Aston Martin with 40. Coming in second was Jaguar, 22 people said that. Lotus, 18 people said that. McLaren, 12, ah, yeah. 12 people said McLaren and 8 people said Bentley. Yeah, fair enough. So, Guess Daniel, Lord's Royce, not a sports car, is you it? got your car. wish. It ended 9-6. I'll, I'll take <laughs> that, you know. Acceptable. I'll yeah. take that. That's that's that. just getting beat. That's mm -hmm. not getting viciously spanked, yeah. is it? You know? <laughs> that was a bit rough, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, a lot of those I got thrown default anyway. Like, it wasn't, 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 wasn't like I was just going through rhyming off lists yeah, there, was yeah, it? Yeah. No. A lot of the time I it was think, just I think you went well. So 9-6, like, I think you did all right there, Dan, like, in the end. But Johnny... Scottish Highlands, Poets trees and just you know, pretty much just segued through all the shit that i know yeah. nothing about yesterday like, when i was running that I through my head nothing. <laughs> I, I honestly thought oh i'm gonna destroy johnny at this <laughs> i thought i'm so so like so worldly i thought i just know so much stuff do you know what i mean uh it just I mean, humbled it, me there like. <laughs> it's so weird like seeing the answers because it's just like yeah obviously sick them off why aren't you saying willow like stuff like that yeah yeah I think it's just but, when you're on the spot as well, like you, you, your brain goes blank. And you, yeah, yeah. you know who'd be really good at that? Chris Muldowney. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chris Muldowney. Was, Destruction job. He would smash his both. Of course he would. <laughs> he knows yeah. a lot of things, Chris. Just weird things, but yeah. I mean, that I quite I quite enjoyed that. I think he's, he's done a pub quiz or two in his time. He's very, very good at that. Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was always a bit of a, bit of a quiz champ, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. He was. Well, um, how long have you been rolling this up, one or two. One or two. Well, we're going to round it up and keep it short, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to round short it up and today. sweet. Well played, lads. Yeah, it was good. Um, well done. Let us know <laughs> yeah. in the comments below how many you got. Um, and, and we'll sort of see if you beat Dan or Johnny. I'm pretty sure he beat me. I was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't, be fair, I don't think either of us were particularly great there. It you, was tough. Like there'd be, there'd be people tough. watching along who'll be like, you two are fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah. You did good on the James and Bond thing. Right. Yeah, yeah, the James Bond yeah. was good, but that was all based off a song, right? Yeah, I should have got the <laughs> Timmy one, but never mind. With the poets, I mean. Timothy Dalton. Yeah. yeah. Do you want one more? So we'll we'll do one more and we won't reveal the answers and you at home can have a guess and we'll put that in the description. So, right. yeah. um, name a British city that has hosted the Summer Olympics. There we go. We'll leave that there. Yeah. Yeah. Leaving that there. Cool. So answers, that's the answers will be in the description if you've made it this far. 
Yes, we look forward to it, Chris. So um, <laughs> that, that, that was an episode of People Like Us. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. We do appreciate it. You have to say like, comment, and subscribe is all that shit. That's yeah, the word. Do all that stuff. Yeah, That's good. do all that. Um, thank you for speaking with people like us, and we'll see you next time.